Hallelujah. Dear God. Dear God. We ask you to touch this place right now. Oh, everybody within the sound of my voice, Father God. I ask that your word touch them and change. Father God, we ask for complete transformation on today. God, we ask that you move in a mighty way throughout this land. This and all things I ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Giving glory and honor to God for all of the wonderful things he's done. Mm. For all the wonderful things he's done. And continues to do. Giving honor to our pastor, first lady, Minister Paul, Lady Mia, members, saints, and friends. Pastor, I do thank you for this opportunity. And I will admit, it cut. It cut and made me look at myself. I will do better. How would you feel if someone was still labeling you based on what you did at age 21? If I were going to have a title for this message, it would be, we had a label, but God. Turn with me, if you will, to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. It's customary that we stand for the reading of the word, if you can. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You may be seated. God bless his already blessed word. You know, many, many years ago, I was at a conference with some people from a club. Now, there was one lady that I was familiar with, but it was a basic, hey, how you doing, and keep it moving. On this trip, she started talking to me about God. And how good God has been to her. How good God has been in her life. Now she's talking to me and like, okay, you know, sometimes, some, uh, like, okay. But no, she caught my attention. And the glow in her eyes and the tears rolling down her face kept my attention. So I wanted a little, I, I needed to know a little bit more because I was in a back slidden state. See, I tell it on myself. All right, all right. So I was like, okay, I want to talk to her some more, but we gotta go. Later on that afternoon, someone else in the group pulled me to the side. Now you know, don't be listening to all that bad God stuff coming out of her. She used to be a drug addict. She used to be a prostitute. I was sitting there thinking, hold on, I'm confused right now for two reasons. Reason number one, they appeared to be friends. <laughs> and reason number two, there was nothing about that lady that said what she said. There was nothing on, there was nothing that said either of those things. But that next morning at breakfast, as she's giving her testimony, <laughs> as she giving her testimony, she confirmed the things that I was told. I'm still looking. There's nothing on her that says any of that. How many of you know when my God picks you up, when my God cleans you up, he don't leave no residue. But people, people can be judgmental, fickle, nasty, and messy. People will take something you did at 21, put it in a box, slap a label on it, and that's who you are for life. They'll slap a label or a stigma on you for life. 
Now, stigma is this defined as a powerfully negative label that changes a person's self-concept and social identity. Not all labels, not all actions lead to permanent labels. Can we look at a couple of labels if you don't mind? I need to talk to you about, <laughs> I need to talk to you about Saul. I need to talk to you for a minute about Saul. You see, his label at one time was killer of Christians. His label was killer of Christians. But one day, on that road to Damascus, a transformation took place. A complete transformation to the point where even his name had to change. He went from being a killer of Christian to evangelizing the earth and wrote most of the New Testament. Can we go to look and then first Kings 11, King Solomon, when he got older, his wife's one of his wives, because he had a lot, one of his wives shifted his allegiance to other gods. But on his death, his label was great, wise teacher. David. David set Bathsheba's husband up to be killed. We know the rest of that story. Even though he did that, we're in their power and repentance. In their power and repentance. On his death, he was named a, guy, a man after God's own heart. See, you need to understand that your past does not define who you are today. But God, so grateful that God is not leaving me back there. I'm glad he brought me out. So many, I was talking about the labels because, see, sometimes we attach labels to ourselves. We'll tell you we're not good enough. We'll tell you we're fat. We'll tell you we're too thin. We'll tell you we're not enough. <laughs> we'll be poor mouthing and saying we're broke. We will attach a negative label on ourselves and when we do, it's toxic. Labels, negative labels are toxic. Negative labels are like weeds choking out your purpose. Pluck the weeds of negativity and plant the word of God in your heart. <laughs> Doing this will give you a way out. You see, the negative, the negative thoughts are going to come, but you can apply the word that conquers that. God wants you to stop depreciating what he created. Every time you speak negative about yourself, you're saying God got it wrong. Every time you say something negative about yourself, who are you really, who are you really criticizing? Because God made you. He made you exactly the way you are for his purpose. Someone once told me that they were, I was... I ask, how old are you? Because he act like he, he was about 20 years older. He said, you got to understand something. I was an accident. Accident? Yes, my parents had me late in life. Uh, how many know that wasn't no accident? That wasn't no accident. Mom and daddy might not have planned you, but God Almighty planned you. Because if it was look, if God didn't want it, it wouldn't have happened. It was in his plan. Quick question. Have you ever gone to work? Ooh, I'm going fast. If you, have you ever gone to work in a great mood? Doing good. You're just like, everything is going out. I had my time with the Lord. I'm smiling. Everything's going great. Then, some of you are old enough to know who bad luck Chef Rock is. That one co-worker shows up. The one that has never had a good day. Ever had a good day. And the negativity starts. 
I've been sick. My back hurt. My knees hurt. Lord, somebody need to help me. I don't know. I ain't got no money. I'm like, by ha- halfway through your shift, your posture has started to change. All that negativity is starting to weigh you down. At the end of the day, when you try, you, you walk and bent over, trying to get to your car, questioning everything about yourself because that negativity, a little bit of residue got off on you. That negativity got you questioning who you are in God. That negativity question, got you questioning who you are as a person. Do yourself a favor. Pick yourself back up and respond with the labels of God. I have to be transparent for a moment, if you don't mind. Because this hit me personally. You see, I, see, I told you I tell it on myself. I attached a label to somebody about eight years ago. I put it in a box and put it on the shelf. And that's who that person was to me. But see, God got jokes. God got jokes. God rearranged my entire schedule to put me at a different location on Friday. Working with that person, he gave me my confirmation, working with that confirmation, and it's a totally different person. Because while I had him in this box, God was doing some work in him. While I had him in this box of lazy and trifling, God was doing a work in him. The label, we can't afford to put labels on people. Who are we to judge somebody else's salvation? I think my word says, judge not, lest thee be judged. You judging yourself, judge not, lest thee be judged. Pick yourself back up and respond with the labels of God. And I won't be before you much longer. See, we're going to switch out some labels. Do you mind if we switch out some labels? Because these labels are old, they're worn out, they no longer apply. See, one label said unwanted. Anybody had a label that said unwanted? First Peter 1 and 9 says you're chosen. There was a label that said worthless. Anybody know about Isaiah 43 and saying precious? A label, Minister April, a label said sick. My God says by his stripes you are healed. God don't want me. Psalm 17 and 8 said he's with the apple of his eye. I got one more label if you don't mind. See, this is a tough label for me. This is a tough label because this is my label. I told you I like to tell on myself. See, my label says I had a past. My label said I had a nasty disposition. My label said I break things. I break people. My label said nobody is going to ever want you. Nobody is going to ever respect you. My label said I had a past. But in Ephesians 1 and 7, my God's word said redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. (laughs) 